What will be the next quest? Let's see. Enter yeah, so many freaking quests in this place. What's this one? Destroy the contraband. That's a repeatable one. You can simplify jewelry. I may as well do that one. Uh, under watch. Let's see, I've hoped... I have helped Cordon Passant with his issue, and in return he has told me of the identity of the gnome organizing my watch in Odessa, Templar Joriel. I can find her in the forum. I should speak with her and learn why my actions are under observation. What? Oh, wow. Leave me alone. I came here to get away from the faces I knew. The dreaded Dark Vari reputation. Don't even talk to me. Huh. I kind of forgot that you were here over here. Yes. Hmm. I do not know how it happened, but here we are. How astute of you to make it to this point. I might have been surprised to be uncovered so quickly, but Odessa is a city of whispers. I'm almost shocked it took this long for us to meet. I'm being observed. Why? The Praetorians have a saying. An army is but a single being, and every soldier is a weapon it wields. If every common soldier is a weapon, what of you? Certainly a rare commodity in these contested times, if not a kingmaker. Your presence here is too tempting for some of my colleagues, so I observe you to observe them. That is the game we Templars must play. So this isn't really about me. Yes and no. You wield a power new and greater than many are capable of understanding, and to unforeseen repercussions. I worry of that. But greater still is our response to this power. How we approach it, and how we attempt to understand it. This city, our race, is built on the promise of plans reaching fruition, and as convicted as some are, others might be distracted by you. Hmm. Who are you suspicious, suspicious of? A simple enough question. The answer is unfortunately complicated. I speak with the authority of a Templar. It is enough to make my suspicions law, if need be. So I must remain silent, if I wish to learn what I need. Uh, can I do anything to help? No. To speak frankly, I had intended this observation to be conducted with your awareness. You were never meant to know that someone was watching you. It could make my quarry suspicious. It is a frustrating turn of events. But how did you come here? Who exposed this to you in the first place? Hmm. Brutin, the bodyguard you hired. Brutin? Bodyguard? I never hired any... Ugh, by Athene. Oh. I've been outmaneuvered. Whoever hired Bruton likely knew you would be watched, and knows you're meeting with me. You have to find Bruton. Whoever he's working for, they can't have good plans for you or me. Why must we stop Bruton? We've been had. I gave you Sandstone Villa, hoping to use it to uncover the Templars, who have been plotting to exploit you for war. But in doing so, my quarry uses their agent, Bruton, to trace me through you. They'll have both of our heads if we don't stop them. Hmm. I... I have been the one that has orchestrated your observation. There was much to gain, and relatively little to lose. You must understand, I meant no harm. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I've been trying to rout out elements of our leadership, whose ambitions supersede the will of our people. I only hope I haven't failed. With Octien indisposed, there is much work for me to do. Too long has he operated outside of the knowledge of the Forum. We have all his creations under strict scrutiny now. Thanks in part to you. Alright. Let's go confront Bruton then. Yes. Uh. 
Hello. Hmm? Well, it seems you're not here for work, based on how the gnomes seem to be treating you. What can I do for you? Most humans in Alpha feel like there's no opportunity here, but somehow I've managed. Same with the merchants in the markets and in the Arcadium. I lead the construction efforts in the Isles. The gnomes draw up the plans, of course, but I am the one that realizes them. Best tread softly, stranger. These are the gnomes' prized grounds. They barely let me build the place. Be seeing you. That guy was random. Why is he watching me? What the hell are you doing? Well, I've learned enough about your doings to know when I've been found out. Took you long enough. When I was told I'd be targeting a man who came back from the dead, I thought I heard wrong. But then I learned about the Well of Souls. As soon as Juriel's out of the way, my employers will make the well theirs. And all of the power that comes with it. Hmm, <laughs> half pint. Why are you doing this? The Templars are not all of like mine for what road our civilization needs to take. Such as my employer. We plan on grander things for our brethren. But some are holding us back, like Joriel. So we'll kill her. Then they can experiment on you. But before that happens, me and the boys will have our fun. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> You guys are so weak. Damn, bro. Goodbye. the outcome I had anticipated. That you were able to deal with it is gratifying. Killing Bruton should send a message to his masters to stop their plans. I heard what he said about my death. It seems I am indebted. With any luck, the serpent will not bite without its fangs. Our business can be concluded. What happens now? You have proven capable beyond measure. As a reward, I give you the deed to Sandstone Villa. It is now yours, completely. Nice. If you wish, you may make improvements to it at the Grand Bursas. Ooh. Now there is much I must attend to. I am off. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's go upgrade this bad boy. We'll see but oh. welcome, to the, welcome to the Grand Bursars, the city's financial heart. Though not a gnome, my superiors have authorized me to help you as best I can. We can offer loans, property development opportunities, and oversight on investments made with us. Now, what could I do for you? <laughs> oversight. Uh I'll invest, what? Say about the services. What a loan. 
We will lend you a sum that must be repaid in a week's time. Or we will be forced to collect by other means. We can help develop any property you might own in Edessa if you wish. Lastly, hmm. you can invest money. We will allocate it as we deem wise. And if you're lucky, you will gain earnings. Sure, let's invest. Very well. We'll invest a standard capital on your behalf. We can't promise its return, but we will invest it to your discretion. Uh, risky, safe, or moderate? Moderate. Reasonable enough. We'll invest the capital into the traveler's market. It is showing signs of growth, but it's still somewhat unstable. Have a pleasant day. Hello right. again. What can I assist you with? Upgrade my house. Ah, so you are the new owner of Sandstone Villa. Very well. If you wish, we can have crews begin work immediately. Yes. Excellent. We'll begin work at once. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What Just can I assist going. you with? Is that so? What? We've supplied you with a forge, should you feel the desire to perform some handiwork of your own. Very good. Have a pleasant Hello again. What? Is that so? Very well. The labs have graciously donated a potion bench for your private use. But after this point, we won't be able to work any further on the house. That sucks. You won't regret Have a pleasant day. That's it. Alright, let's see. So let's see if I can hand deliver that letter. Maybe a little bit easier if not. I'll do it later, towards the end of the game, when it my crimes do not matter to me anymore. Yeah, this guy like notices me right away. Oh wait. It's going down. Man, are you kidding me? Maybe they won't mind that I'm here? It's possible. Um, let me save it in this slot. Let's find out. Okay, cool. Uh, where's the prisoner at? Keymaster, huh? What the hell are you doing here? If you're going to stand out there and gape at me, you're going to get us both in trouble. I have a wait, uh, the letter. Let me actually read it real quick. Which one is it? Letter for Escald? Oh, never mind. Let me find just read his letter real quick. Going. You again. Get really. I've been in here so long I thought they would have all forgotten about me. This... this means a lot to me. Thanks, mate. Bet it's a lovely city to be in for a gnome. For outsiders, it's a place of burden. They make it uncomfortable, so we might leave. I only stole a loaf of bread, and for that I'm sorry. 
but I've been in here for weeks. That's freaking nuts, man. The gnomes like to think their city shouldn't need jails, but they'll use any excuse to throw one of us quarterlings in here. Just another burke trying to scratch a living in this desert sand. But it's easier to survive out there than in this blasted city. Half-men bastards. They'll look for any reason to throw one of us outsides into this brig. They're trying to intimidate us. Get going. Alright, cool. Let's see. Let's go back. So the scriptures of Matharu have been handed to us. Esclad Tyna is a troubled man, but many are those who need redemption. Though he may have wronged, he must not lose his spirit. Be pious. Okay. Let's go back to this guy. Wake the hell up, bro. So, looks like you've done your share of the legwork, eh? Happy to pay someone that's dear to us. Take this coin. You've earned it. Now, I don't think there was anything else, was there? So long. Alright, cool. <laughs> 